Well, anyway, Easter season here in Louisiana is also crawfish season. And in this edition of Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, Holly and AJ are putting a new twist on crawfish Alfredo. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Jason Bean and welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen along with Holly Clegg and Holly, it's April. Spring has already sprung, so right. what do you have in store for us this month? It's crawfish season! Yay! Yay! But I'm the kind that likes to cook with crawfish instead of crawfish boils, mm -hmm. so wait till you try this simple recipe with just about six ingredients. It's a crawfish artichoke dish. Let's get started. Okay, come over here. Now, we just started, and all we've done is we heated up our cream cheese. This is reduced fat cream cheese and skim milk, so you just want to get it creamy. Do you like Alfredo? I do, Alfredo I sauce? do, it's delicious. This is a trim and terrific version of Alfredo sauce, so it's gonna be fabulous. So, we're just gonna add our other ingredient. You can see it's all creamy, the lumps are gone. You're gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce, a little lemon juice. Now, I like dill, do you like dill? It's wonderful in a pickle. Uh, Oh, see, a lot of people don't like dill, but I do, and I'm making the dish, so I'm going to do what I want. We're going to add dill, but honestly, you could use oregano, basil, whatever herb you have on. You know, my books are made to be easy and adapt what you have. You never go back to the grocery store. This is just canned artichokes that I've drained, and I bought the quartered ones to keep it simple. Looks delicious. And then our star ingredient, Louisiana crawfish. And you remember when I went crawfish, what's it called? Um, uh, fishing? Crawfish fishing? I, I, <laughs> I picked up those with, well, I, I had so much fun. I caught a lot of crawfish. Okay, these are the crawfish tails and we've rinsed and drained them. And you remember, crawfish tails are really pretty much already cooked. It's just a matter of heating them up and then green onions sort of bring the flavors out. Talk about flavors in this. You have your Louisiana crawfish, your artichoke with this creamy Alfredo sauce. And again, use dill, oregano, basil, whatever you want. Now, Holly, how long should this cook? It's done. Basically, you want to heat it up, and it's done, and we're going to serve it over rice. Now, boy, do I have a recipe for you. Yam biscuits. Yam biscuits. Yes, and for Louisiana yams is yam biscuits. Okay. Now, that was about five ingredients, and that was from Kitchen 101, which I always say is my easiest book, and it's from the No Fuss section. It's recipes that have just a few ingredients. So, so what do we have here? This is yam biscuits, and it's from Gulf Coast Favorites, of course. Louisiana King of Books. Now, how simple is this? You use Bisquick, Louisiana yams, and cinnamon. Now, a lot of people don't realize you could use leftover Louisiana yams. One can of Louisiana sweet potatoes or yams you buy is equal to one cup of mashed sweet potatoes. So, you just mix this all together, as I did earlier, so we didn't get all dirty with your hands, and then you just pat it down. What I love about this recipe, you're making biscuits, but you don't have to get out a rolling pin. It's just strictly patting. It's so simple. Do a very pliable dough, and then you just get a glass. You don't have to have one of those fancy cookie cutters or anything. And oh, these are just so perfect because they have the little bit of cinnamon. Oops, if you don't cut it good, you just go right back. A little bit of cinnamon in them. And I say they're hot out of the oven, but I got news for y'all. The whole staff has been eating it all day long. So you want to bake it 450 for about 10 to 12 minutes and you are done. And when we get back, folks, we'll show you how this beautiful recipe comes together. Stick around, we'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back. Thank you so much for sticking around. Holly, it smells like cinnamon in here. It really does with your yam biscuits. But I want to let folks know that if you want to get fresh Louisiana crawfish directly from a farmer, log on to crawfish.org. Wow, that's really good. And I want you to know also that you could freeze crawfish when the prices are better and have them in your freezer to pull out year round to make this fabulous dish. And really, as we made it over there, it's about six ingredients and it has an Alfredo sauce, that creamy, rich, sauce, but all my recipes are trim and terrific and they have your nutritional information. And nothing beats those jam biscuits. Oh my God. Smell them. I put those in the oven and you can smell them. Oh, they're just to die for. Again, made with Bisquick or Louisiana yams. So my goal in life is to make it easy for y'all to cook, get you in and out of the kitchen in 30 minutes. And with Kitchen 101, I promise you could do that. 
But if you want to buy my cookbooks autographed, you can go to hollyclegg.com and you want to sign up for my monthly menu newsletter. It has fabulous recipes, tips, everything, all on hollyclegg.com. So I hope to see you there. Guess what I have? What? The tasting. This is my Dun -dun -dun. sample. This is my sample. Okay. Well, let's, the proof uh, is in the tasting. See, my job is to make people at home jealous when I have this wonderful plate that you've made for me. So thank you very much. No, they're jealous because I cooked it all and you just get to eat it all. But I promise you, these recipes are so easy and so good, anybody can make them. Well, I can tell you, the world is a stage and we all must play our part. There you go. <laughs> Oops. Whoop. And mm. you know when it falls off, mm. there's no calories in it. You know what makes it? The dill. The dill makes it. It's really good. It's really good. And folks, if you got guys at home want more information about Louisiana crawfish, you can always log on to our website at twilighttv.org. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. By the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. <laughs>